Hey guys, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII, where I have just spent the last 10 minutes killing off Sid and Vincent so that we can once again face the terror that is Ruby Weapon. Yes, that's right, last time we faced Ruby Weapon and we lost. Uh, I'll explain why as we get going. Also, my game noises are a bit loud. Let, let's turn those down. But uh, we have the uh, classic exclamation and a question mark. Let's get down and uh, fight this uh, bad uh, boy. Now, you might ask what went wrong uh, last time. And this is a very astute question. I am totally down with you asking this question. I'm actually going to go as far as W Magic. Let's have a look here. What can we use? Uh, life 2. Uh, we're going to do that on Sid and then Life 2 on Vincent. That'll be good. The whole reason that we la uh, lost last time is because I didn't want to use the top level magics. Now, this is a, a personal flaw of mine. Uh, when I'm playing games, I kind of I like to... I like to get the, the end level stuff, the big bad guy stuff, but I, I feel the, the the strength of the power creep at that point. What are we going to do with Sid here? Let's have a look. Uh, Sid doesn't have an enemy skill, doesn't have a steal, doesn't, oh wait, he does have a steal, but he doesn't appear to have any magic here, so we're going to go with a double cut and see if we can do anything about that. Uh, probably going to end up getting Sid to do just a bunch of, uh, hey, am I... Quadra magicing looks like I am. Uh, we're going to get Sid just to do a whole bunch of support stuff mostly. But yeah, nights of the round. I kind of find end game stuff a little bit boring, if you will. Uh, I'm just going to put that out there. When you start a game, it's all struggles and hardships. You know, like look at this: 500 points of damage a uh, time, struggles and hardships. But you eventually learn what the best best ploys are, and you kind of a set um, set up some sort of meta. It's what it's kind of the word going around at the moment that means that you're doing doing the thing that is the most efficient, efficient, right? Uh, which is a bit weird, if you ask me. Oh man, this isn't going incredibly well. Let's have a look here. Um, the people are... I don't know. I find it that people are so easily pleased by shiny baubles, right? That That's kind of how it feels to me. Am I, are we actually going to get a, a go here? That would be good. All right, let's have a look. What are we going to do about this? We need to put a, a turbo ether on cloud. Let's go for that. Yeah, um... And so I like to try and find ways that are not the the most efficient to try and kill. Um, so like this, by far would be the most efficient way. All we do is go through and make sure that Vincent has turbo ethers and just keep throwing out Knights of the Round and the Harm at Zero. And then we're done, right? Uh, and that's probably what I'm going to do in this fight because last fight when I tried to find alternate tactics, I found that almost nothing else works. Uh, the problem is that Ruby Weapon here has just the most insane amount of resistance and armor to just about everything that I ever try to do. Uh, I believe whilst we were going through all the options, we found that this cut through his armor, Bahamut Zero cut through his armor, and maybe Pandora's box, was that the other one? Uh, unfortunately, I've been on holiday between the two fights. The last for you, it's just been uh, all, uh, over and done. Um, I, unfortunately, have been away. I've gone off and done some things. It's been about a week since I last played, so I'm trying desperately to remember uh, everything that we did. But I, I'm almost certain that we're going to get through this. Now, the plan, the action, uh, the strategy that we are working on is the fact that... Oh, he's going to kill us almost instantly. Um, is the fact that this guy will not do another well sand. Oh, man, look at this. Good job I have got this covered. Um... Don't do a not a lot enough MP. That that was just incredibly bad. Good job that I saved this. Uh, all right, we've got to try and figure out other ways of doing things. Black Cauldron is away. Oh yes, indeed. Let's see what else is going to happen here. So I, I'm desperately going to try and figure out how to bring these people back to life here. Um, Vincent is on the very urge. Uh, we are, we have done nothing on the setup here. I haven't done any big guards. I haven't done any anything to help really uh, big guard would have been perfect because it would have done uh, a number of things uh, it would have walled us it would have hasted us uh, also we could use dazers on this chap to uh, oh here we go again he is paused he is petrified something has happened something has happened to make him still um, so th there was a whole bunch of stuff we could do here uh, and I haven't, haven't done any of them so we're gonna have to try and get back on uh, that yes indeed but of course we first got to get through the four black cauldrons and that's kind of alright it's not the biggest thing in the world but oh, man these things uh, do uh, take their time I'm uh, mostly interested in the fact that the tentacles are kind of waving up through the summoning circle there I mean you would have thought that would have been 
given some sort of issue. Wow, 96 points of damage. Okay, I'm guessing by the fact that we've now frozen him that maybe, maybe I'm going to be able to pull something out of the bag to bring these guys together here. I'm tempted to do a Phoenix because Phoenix is the one uh, that brings everyone back to life, but it does actually heal him a little bit, and that's... I'm not so keen on that, if I'm to be honest with you. So what the game plan should have been, and I'm not sure if we're going to be able to actually make this happen now, uh, is to get Cloud and Sid just being support for Vincent to pump out stuff. Um, the problem was I had an Omni Slash and I wanted to use it. Uh, and, and uh, just full of hubris. That was the problem. Full of hubris. I was like, the Omni Slash will be fine, and then we can set up everything afterwards. And then I started talking, and I got distracted, and oh, it, it went bad, but that's okay. All right, let's see if this one is going to... I think this is the last, right? This this should be number four, uh, and we'll see what happens here. We have, of course, got two poison tentacles, so that will work out pretty well, and a paralyzed ruby weapon so that should be fine it's not is he paralyzed yeah he's para paralyzed he's not stopped that's the thing to remember uh, is that time magic doesn't work on him I, th I think maybe he can be slowed but uh, I don't know bio 3 where's this come from Okay, not enough MP. Uh, I suppose we can live with that. Uh, so first thing we need to do is a Turbo Aether, uh, and then after that, try and bring those guys back to life. Hopefully, I've got some magics on the go here. Okay, W Magic Life 2 is really what I'm looking for here, thanks. Uh, ooh. I don't know where it's going to use them. We'll, we'll have to see. This, this, this is probably going to be very disappointing. Uh, is that Cloud there? If, if he brings Cloud back, that'll be fine. Okay, that's pretty good. So the Quadra Magic here, um, that, that is uh, holding me back a little bit. As you can see, it only did half his life. But that's okay. We, we will work through uh, this somehow. I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, that the other Life 2 goes on to Sid, please. That would be, oh, why would you do that? Just, just, just why? Just why? Um, Turbo Ether? Yeah, I think Turbo Ether is the way forwards here. Try and get Cloud doing stuff. I'm noticing that those things behind us are now doing stuff, the tentacles. I'm not sure if Ruby Weapon is moving at all. Uh, we are too low of health to have this being a situation. Ooh, yeah. Uh, limit Break's good. I'm not sure if I actually want chaos involved here uh that that that's a toughie that is really a toughie about whether that's what i want or not um are we are we gonna talk through the next sort of five minutes of these guys do it no no we're, we're gonna we're gonna wait until the end of this black culture All right, was that the last one? I think it was, and then randomly Bio 3. I mean, I'm kind of all right with this. Uh, it doesn't really do what I want it to do, though, but we'll live with it. Zero points, whatever. It's not he it's not healing him. That's that's the main point here, is it's not healing him, so that'll be fine. All right, so the thing I need to try and do here is to get a Phoenix down or something like that out. Phoenix down over this way, and then the moment Cloud can have a go, we're going to go Mega Elixirs for everyone. Thank you very much. We will take that. Okay, Sid now really needs to go for the dazers over that way. Brilliant. Vincent is not going to do that. What we are going to do instead is another Knights of the Round. Let, let's just get those points going out there, shall we? Yes, indeed. And what can Cloud do? Uh, I'll tell you what Cloud can do. Uh, big guard. That is, that is the thing we need to set up right now. The Mega Elixir has put us back onto track, so that's pretty good. If we can get the big guard going down, that will be even better. But here we go. Bam! Nice. Okay, we're going to get a whole of bunch of points here now if it's 7,000 points a hit and we've got 13 oh man my 13 times table is not the strongest it has to be said uh, so let's go for 10 7 to 70 um, plus another 14 uh, that's 84 and then plus 7 um, yeah that's, that's gonna be the hard bit there but anyway so we're at, we're at 90 odd points of uh, 9,000 no, 90,000 points of damage ago. That's that's pretty good. I forgot how many zeros we were dealing with for a second there. But that, that 90,000, that's pretty good on our way to several million that I think this guy has. We'll have to try and keep an eye on that. So that's not going to be the hardest job in the world, though. Not going to be. Especially as we keep him uh, paralyzed the vast majority of the time. The real trick is to keep an eye on when the dazers get, uh, get thrown out, right? So that we can keep him well and truly 
paralyzed. Okay, so that's the chateau gone down quite well there. Let's uh, click for the big guard and see if we can do anything else. Okay, so that's really helped us out there. I don't know if we can actually sense. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing not. He looks like he's moving. Um, now, this really should mean... Uh, let's do uh, four of those, shall we? I think that's probably a good one there. We should have got Sid to actually as well. I couldn't sense. All right, that's that's fine. Uh, so let's go Dazers over there. Looks good. Oh, he's got the added cut, has he? Okay, I've got to remember that um, because I was just about to use him to like throw out turbo ethers and stuff like that that's not what i want at all cloud has to be the man throwing out the turbo ethers uh that's a little unfortunate because cloud is also the guy who does things like um throw out big guard and stuff like that so that mm, maybe not have been the best setup but that's fine that's fine every time we throw dazers at him uh, he will also get struck I'm, I'm down with that i am down with that okay another four hades on the go up uh, this is like by far the longest with the minimal payoff so we'll just sit and wait so yeah we started this fight before i like absolutely panicked about everybody being dead um uh, talking about power creep and high level items uh, i don't really want to do that uh dazers have gone out that's fine let's get see uh enemy skill let's let's have a look what can we do here we really need to get phoenix uh not phoenix sorry i just literally read something on the screen as i was doing stuff we need to get cloud pumping out a lot of stuff here uh like x potions ethers stuff like that let's have a look what else uh we need to give sid a turbo ether there now sid is going to throw out another dazer because we've got a lot of those and we can make a good use of them that's good vincent's on this on the uh summon that's cool uh so yeah i was wondering what you guys think about like power creeps in games for instance um so i find things like ultimate i mean they're nice when you get them for the first time right they're like oh yeah this is a powerful thing but i feel like personally i haven't improved any i've just got a better weapon right you know what i'm saying whereas uh, using things like hades at just the right moment or throwing the dazers uh is me improving my strategy um so yeah that, that's kind of how i feel about this that's why i lost the last fight <clears throat> yeah totally well it wasn't intentional it wasn't even close to intentional but i was trying to find another way of doing things uh, we're just about to run out of shield, so I'm going to try and preemptively put down a big guard here. Now, normally what happens when I do this is it actually manages to fire off just before, just before we need it. Uh, are we coming back for me to do that? Okay, cool. Another Tetra Flare. We're going to get a few of these. Now, I think these are the ones with the piercing damage. Let's have a look and see. What else can we do with this? Maybe I'm going to throw an ink at him as well. I think that might be a good idea. Reduce his chance of hitting. Maybe throw an ink at the tentacles to see if they darken that would be an interesting play there yeah let's try that because of course sid is slightly hypered slightly um hasted and i say slightly hasty you're either hasted or not right um so he should be able to get two items out in the time it takes for a days of the wear off so i'm hoping that we can get the ink on the tentacles to see if that works against him we will find out, of course, though. And more importantly, I want to see here whether this does big damage. I think it does. I think it's lots of big damage all around across the board. Let's have a look here. Bam, 5,000s each. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, there. Okay, that's cool. I've got the ink out. It'll be good to see what happens. I really was kind of hoping that the barrier would start to run out here. But, of course, Tetra Flare four times takes a lot of time uh if i remember correctly this takes about 20 30 seconds on its own so you know times four that's that's nearly a minute if not over a minute uh, who knows who knows all right these guys turn around here and take it so i, I notice that the uh the planet here is shaped like a sphere but that's not how the map works you know we go off the top and the top of the map the world map and then we go on to the bottom of the world map uh, but that's not how globes work. Globes work by going off the top of the map, and then you come back on the top of the map somewhere else. Think about it. Like, if you if you fly north from America, you come into Russia, not Argentina. 
So, yeah, I, I, I feel a little inconsistency here. A little inconsistency. Wow, another Tetra Flare. Well, let's just let it roll through, shall we? Not that I know how you would represent, like, a North Pole system uh, on a, you know, a flat screen or whatever. Obviously, the Mercator projection exists. They all missed. Did they actually all just miss there? Uh, okay. Um... Let's, let's do another one of those, I suppose, and then set that up again. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not sure how you would set up a, a sort of a globular system on a flat map. Uh, because I can't even imagine off the top of my head. I'm, I'm not very intuitive with how you would draw lines across the top of the map to indicate going from, say, Oregon to... Um, Finland via the North Pole. I don't know how what that what that line would look like. It would be some sort of like curvy line going via just touching the top of the map and coming back down, right? I, I don't know. I don't know. And, and well, anyway, straight strange ways of thinking about computer game maps. I, I would really like to see that, but but really, as as humans, we would then want a glob a globular map in the in the bottom right, right? That that would definitely be how that would like get translated through uh, i would like to make that at some point i think yeah okay all right well we're gonna have to try and figure out something with sid i think maybe it is time for some more dazers uh we're gonna set that out i don't think we're ever gonna run out thankfully uh and actually i'm not sure how many times uh ruby weapon has even been able to try and like throw some some shade at us we've been pretty good at keeping on top of keeping them paralyzed mainly because every time he attacks he has a little dig at sid who then immediately immediately lets loose with the hades uh so that's pretty cool all right another uh, Bahamut Zero, which I'm, I'm just going to wait for. I, I think we're just going to sit and watch this play out. Oh, he does a hit. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That, that, um, Dazer just wore off there. That's, that's not great. That's not great at all. All right, legit many, many minutes there, but that's all right. What just happened to Sid? He has been absolutely beaten up. So let's try and find an elixir there for Sid. That's going to work out quite well. And I'm a little bit worried now because this is where World Sand can happen. He's pulled his claws out of the, uh, the ground, uh, and this means that things can happen. All right, Sid, let's get some more Knights of the Round coming out there if we can. Did, did he actually just get in the way? Did he literally just get in the way there? I can't. I cannot believe that happened. I, honestly, I can't believe that Sid just got in the way of um, the elixir. Why, why, why would that be a case? Why would that be the case? Oh man, we, we got troubles now. All right, let's let's try Mega Elixir instead, as we have quite a few of those. And I don't think I even I don't think I even like cheated them in. So that that's that's kind of good, right? That's kind of good. Uh, who is this doing? This is Cloud. Okay, that's good because we don't want Sid doing this because then he'll go and beat someone up afterwards. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna throw the Mega Elixir out there because it just it seems to actually hit its target as opposed to Sid getting involved. So that that's gonna be fine. Also, no idea how far through this. This fight is we've been pumping out quite a few quite a few points of damage here through various different means and processes but i'm all good with that all right that was a good hit as well how, how many of these do we, are there there's like 13 aren't there and that is quite the strong hit okay here comes the final guy bam uh, it's a shame that we can't do quadra magic knights of the round i tried it doesn't seem to work and maybe if I'd done it specifically rather than with the Master Summon, it might have worked then. Uh, but I, I didn't, so that that's a thing. Okay, here we go. Back for the points. And then Sid is going to do a Dazer. Okay, that, that should work out for us, right? Yes, it actually has very much worked out for us. Another night of the round. Why not? Here it goes. Uh, I do wonder how many turns per barrier. You, you know what I'm saying? So you've got the barrier lines over there. Uh, and... I'd like to start preempting the big guards, but you know, for starters, wow, it's a long time between doing stuff because look, it's a long time between doing stuff. Um, so I'm not sure how, I'm not actually not even sure how many rounds have been since I last did big guard. It could even just be two. 
you know. Um, that said, Sid, uh, Cloud threw an elixir, Sid took it, then, then a mega elixir happened. So, I mean, that that's two rounds just there. But that, are my two rounds the same as uh, Ruby Weapon's two rounds there? I, I don't know, honestly. I don't know. I'm also not sure whether I want to kill Vincent and Sid again now that he's pulled his hands out so that he can't do the well sand. Uh, you... Is, is that a play or is that just just folly? I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure because we could quite easily get Cloud just to one two on on either side of them, right? You know what I'm saying? That that, that could be quite the quick takedown. Uh, right, what's Cloud gonna do this time? Is it time to do a W magic? Oh, maybe, but at the same time, I feel like it's more of an enemy skill uh, down to Pandora's box. Let's give that a go. But does it say what Pandora's box actually does? Big damage on opponents and ignores defense. Okay, that's kind of good. Uh, also not. Okay, let's throw that ink out. Though he is a darkened, so that's kind of okay. Uh, summons Knights of the Round. I mean, we've got infinite number, but we've got one more. Four hits of Bahamut Zero left to do. That's pretty good, but at the same time, <laughs> whatever. Uh, I mean, maybe we could do a Hades. That would, again, um, put him through the dazzling. Uh, ink for no apparent reason. Cloud. Oh no. 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 Please. No. I mean, like, out of all people, that's the best to have lost. Um, but, but now what? But now what? He's going to do it again, isn't he? Ultimate end, P please be the one. Oh, can't believe, cannot believe. Is this actually how it's going down? I don't know, I don't know. This this is sad times if this is how it's actually gonna end now. Oh, how do we, how do we get through, how do we get through this? I mean, do, do I just literally slay, slay Vincent now? If I can, I will. I, I, I don't think it's the best play, but if I can, I will. <laughs> Uh, I think Cloud's going to do a big guard next, unfortunately, uh, which is, isn't is really what I need to be conducive towards this plan. Oh, man. Is, is this really going to be the guy that I cannot beat? Um, I suppose we could have been more intense. We could have been more intense. We could have got more mimes on the go. I mean, Sid definitely had mimes to use, so we, we could have doubled the number of knights of the round on the go. Hmm. I was kind of, I'm kind of expecting this to be a walkover when I when I started taking on these plans, but I'm only doing seven thousand points of damage a go anyway, which is um two thousand points less than I was expecting, as I'm sure you can imagine. Uh, I, I was really expecting full power, pow pows, uh, but that that's that, that's a thing right there. Uh, and there we go. Who are we going to lose? Please, please, please. Oh. I was kind of hoping for Cloud. Okay, well, we're going to have to try and figure this uh, through here. It shouldn't be too difficult, as I believe I've... How are I limit broke? I, I, I'm not limit broken. How dare you? That, that was a thing there. Okay, so first priority, keep my health high. Uh, second priority, I don't know. We're, we're going to... Oh, that's, that's just bad there. Uh, ultimate end. I like this. Oh, is this the mimes? Ah, how do we keep that going, but also heal? I don't think I can. I, I actually don't think I can. Uh, that's a bit of a shame, because the next thing I want to do is do, like, an Angel Whisper, or uh, so something that's, like, pretty strong on the on the healing. Ah, that, that's a shame. And also, Cloud, not so strong with the magics. Look, he's getting a few uh, 6,000s there. Yeah, look at that. That Not the best. Not the best. But we could have could have done better, it turns out. Could have done better. Okay, so I'm guessing the only thing left to do, as we can't seem to do it quick enough, is to go and carry on farming some sources. And it's pretty much the only thing left to do. Uh, max out a whole bunch of stats and hopefully be able to do the damage. Before facing Sephiroth, of course. I mean, like, Sephiroth's going to be there somewhere. Um, okay, six, nine, seven, six. Th those are pretty big numbers, but I don't think they're big enough. Uh, Dazers also wouldn't go amiss. Um, yeah. It's tough. It's tough. I don't, I don't really know how to play from this point. Uh, we're we're going to keep trying, though. We're going to keep trying. Uh, if I can get an Elixir out, that would be good. All right, here's a big guard. Let's, um... It's a star, I suppose. That's not quite what I'm after. Uh, item at the top there, Dazers. Let's... 
Ooh, okay, another big guard will be alright, I suppose. That'll be the mine playing through. That's a fine, I suppose. Here come the dazers. Is that enough to stop him? That is. Alright, now we got to do some, like, mega heals. Uh, enemy skill, angel whisper, bam. Let's see it happen. Great, thanks, and wonderful. Woo! All right, what what are we gonna do now? How do how do we even? How do we even? Well, he's comet toing me. That's that's not ideal. If I'm to be honest with you, can I um daze you again, please? That that would be more ideal. Uh, and and the omni slash is gonna do nothing for me. Let's be honest here. The omni slash is literally gonna do nothing for me. Here comes another angel whisper. Those tentacles keep popping up through the ground. I can see them even when they're not supposed to be there. That is unfortunate. Okay, there goes the dazers. Black. All right, he's kind of dead, right? Uh, w magic. Oh, I don't know. I literally don't. Uh, enemy skills down to the bottom Pandora's box. Let's see what this gives. And then we got to, like, totally heal again afterwards because that's just how it works, right? <laughs> it's, it's attack, heal, attack, heal, attack, heal. That is the only way to do it from this point going forth. And I wish I knew how much health he had. It would definitely help. Quick drink. Uh, let's see how... So this should be... I was about to say this should be all the nines, but it wasn't. Uh, Item days, let's go. Bam, these death blows just totally miss. Totally miss. Here comes Band Pandora's box again. I'm fine with another Pandora's box. Have all things, you know, it could be worse. It could be much worse. Need to get the turbo ether in before it becomes a problem. This is how we died last time, remember? So we've got to make sure that we can keep that rolling. Can't believe it. Really, really should have just, like, turned around and slugged Vincent in the face. <laughs> look, at, look at those. <laughs> look at those tentacles there. Uh, right, so now we need to, once again, enemy skill all the way up to Angel Whisper. I'll take that. Thank you you and then we will do the dazers again and then try and think about how we can actually attack so now cloud basically has to be everyone right uh item dazers and then oh wow that more than a little bit hurt but here comes the angel whisper that's pretty good gotta get that turbo ether down uh, it's a it's a must it's a must uh here come dazers knock him out good 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 uh i literally having trouble just even staying alive right now uh, but we should be alright. I wish those tentacles would go away. Is it something that only happens when there is one person? Enemy skill down to the bottom Pandora's box. There we go. Roulette? No. Well that was silly. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> And with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. Oh, gosh. <laughs> what a misclick, guys. Oh, that is misclick of the century. But I'll see you next time when we're going to go farm some sources. Bye!